Hello everybody, Grace still plays, and we're back with more of the totally accurate turkey simulator. Jalopy, those crickets mean that it's time to whip that ass. I, I don't really know if we'll be whipping any ass. Can I get any money out of you? Yes, good, good. Give me your cash. I wonder how much money we have right now. We should have quite a stack. I always, every time I come into this game, I always forget that shift doesn't run. And it makes me sad, so I always try and press it to no avail. Now, I think that our car is in absolutely baltastic condition. Oh, it is. Yes, look at all the tires. Durability, one of three. It may get us to where we need to go. It may get us there. Um, I'm very curious to see how our internal parts are. Oh, they're absolutely jacked up. Well, not all of them. Uh, the ignition coil shot. The engine's pretty bad. Uh, I saw something else here. Oh, the air filter, of course. Of course, so the, yeah, the carburetor, mm-hmm. All right, so pretty much everything needs to get fixed at least a little bit. Um, and that's fine. We have some things to sell, too. If you remember the last time, we just barely limped our way into here. Uh, like, literally, we limped our way in. We've got 345 of the delicious monies. So, let us go and start putting our vehicle together. And then from there, we'll take our final trek over to Turkey and enjoy Turkish beer and Turkish people and Turkish folk songs. I don't know what the main stuff in Turkey is, but whatever it is, damn it, we're going to find it. Yeah, we're not leaving yet now. Don't open the borders yet, my man. But right now, I just need to see if I can make it up these hills. So I can start fixing up the vehicle. Oh, <laughs> it's like a wounded wildebeest trying to get up, trying to get up these hills. Oh yes. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. I didn't mean for that to happen. That's the only issue with some of the visuals in this game. There's not a real fantastic way to see exactly where the hell you're going. Look at all the. I, I don't know if this is busted up glass or what, but our car is so beat right now. I mean, uh, this is giving a new, this is giving a new meaning to the word beater. Let's go get in here. Now, remember, we need gas too. I'm going to be spending a ton of money because quite frankly, there's so many issues with this car right now and I don't want to have what happened last time happen again, which is basically me running around Barely try, barely making it into the next town. The car dying every 10 seconds. It, that's, I, I just, I don't, I want a nice, smooth sailing travel. Go ahead and grab this engine. I'm going to go ahead and sell that. I think that there's an extra, yep, extra ignition coil. That's going to get sold as well. Oh, boys. Oh, I forgot. We got stacks on deck. Stacks of alcohol. Oh, it's like Christmas. When I opened up the, the trunk... It was like, it was like Santa Claus was there to greet me. Oh, it's glorious. 30 smackaroonies right for that. And that's good too, because we're definitely going to be buying up these toolboxes over here. But first things first, let's go ahead and make our wallet fat with cash by grabbing all of these bottles of booze. Booze delicious, boys. Booze delicious. How much money for all the booze? I just clicked the freaking shift button again. How much money for all the booze? Quite a bit, I imagine. Let's take a look over here. Oh, it's 25% off of your your uh, your uppas or whatever. All right, lady. 25% off of the booze as well. <coughs> Give me that money. 133 bucks. Sounds good. Sorry we don't buy them. Don't buy what? I just sold you everything. Oh, I, well, I don't want that. I just want my money. All right, $508. First thing is first. How close am I? It's like I'm teabagging the ground at this point. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. How close am I to the uh, the shop? Because if there is, by chance, the next level of toolkit, oh, I would love to have that. That would make me so remarkably happy. The car can barely move, guys, so I'm getting my exercise in. That's how I stay so trim, all right? You got to understand. You got you to gotta take time to see the sights over here, especially when we're on our way to Turkey. Now, this is going to be the final destination. The last hoorah until they update it. And I do hope that they update it with plan new plan, brand new places. I almost said plan new braces. 
Yes, greetings, I know. Let me see your catalog. Oh, I hope you have the new toolkit. I want the silver toolkit. We have the bronze one, I'm pretty sure. Up over here, let us turn the page. And in the upgrade area, we have absolutely nothing of use. Halves damage incurred from crashing the car. Well, I think I already have plenty of damage from crashing the car because Lord knows I have crashed into almost everything you can possibly crash into. What is this? Is this just like, I can't even click on it. The little pedestals over there showing me things of great magnitude and power. Hope you guys are enjoying the great crouching simulator. Uh, feel free to let me know at the end of the episode how many times I ended up crouching, even though I didn't mean to. When I do mean to crouch, I'll be sure to let you guys know it'll probably never happen. Oh, it'll probably never happen. How far can I fall without incurring any damage? I could probably fall all the way, can I? Like, if I just jump here. Yeah, I figured as much. I've been, like, I've been, like, really taking care of my legs and knees and stuff. As you get older, you gotta watch the damage to the knees, boys. I'm gonna tell you what. I really favor them. Now, let's go ahead. Well, I might as well get my gas now. Let me go ahead and fill this thing up hardcore. Can I reach it from here? Yeah, I'm sure I can. I'm gonna go fill it up for right now, use a couple of toolkits to get this thing going, and then we're gonna head on over to Turkey. Just scrubbing the old beast up a little bit, put some new tires on it, looking good. Well, I put some new tires on it. I didn't put all new tires on it. I put just enough tires on it so that we can probably make it to our destination without any problems. Oh yeah, things- crap. How the hell did this happen? How did I grab this friggin' tire? I usually can't grab anything without trying a thousand times, and this time I grabbed the tire in one shot. You gotta be friggin' kidding me. Hold on, let's go ahead and- oh yeah, we're gonna make this- we're gonna make this puppy shine, baby. For this- for this particular go-ahead today, boys, we are traveling in the sun, I don't care what it takes, and we're gonna have no crashing, our car is gonna look spotless both before and after, those are my- that's my- that's what's gonna happen, okay? It's- it's gonna happen. Great- so saith Gray. This is- this is- it's probably not gonna happen. But I- I'd like to believe, I would love to believe that we will be able to do those things on this day. Alright, everything's looking good, there we go. Alright, we'll hit it a couple more times and it should be fine. Let me tell you about those days when you suddenly find out that you had a uh, couple packages of sausage just lingering in the back of your car. How long have these sausages been back there? It's actually kind of scary. Um, I doubt they're still edible, but I think they're gonna sell for like $6.50. So damn it, this lady's gonna be paying. Here you go, ma'am. I've got two delicious packs of sausage for you. I do hope you enjoy it. Oh, an extra 13 bucks for that. We are at 480 and it is time, boys. To head on out into the great beyond and get this freaking road trip underway. We've made our car look as absolutely gorgeous as humanly possible considering the absolute shellacking that it's been through. Uh, looks pretty good though. There it is, boys. M. Turnovo to Turkey. I don't want any of these. I don't want any of these. I don't want to head back either. Hold on here. Continue onward. Ah, yeah, we can restart it over and over again until it's perfect. Right over here, 210 kilometers. And eh, let's see if we can get something a little bit longer. 210. Okay. 280. Ooh, with a stop. There we go. That should be quite nice. 280 kilometers, route number one. We're going to Turkey, boys. Let's freaking do this. Go ahead and put this thing down over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's happening today. Oh, we're yelling timber. Right, this thing on. We've got a full tank of gas. We've got tires that don't look like hammered crap. I think I just hit something. Oh yeah, we've got a couple of beatings on the old window there, but nothing, nothing great can't handle. No big deal for the most part. Now I think. Let me see if I can go ahead and not go flying off the road the way I did the last time. Oh, I hate this friggin' view. The perception here is absolutely. Freaking dreadful. All right, now let's see if I can get out of here without blowing anything up. Turkey! And a fantastic way to spell it as well. Yes, good, good. Oh, yeah. Hold on here. Hold on here. Oh, you know what? Hold on. I gotta get a picture. I gotta get a picture real quick. Go ahead and put down the old window for this because we're gonna need to be doing that in just a second. Pull up here. There we go. Go grab our documentation. Here you are, sir. Fresh brewed documentation for you. Everything seems to be in order. You're not gonna be checking out my friggin' uh, my stuff, are you? Oh, he's not. All right, well that's good. 
Well, sir, I hope you have a lovely day. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this up so we don't have to listen to the engine cranking quite so loudly. And we are off into the lush, lush forests of Turkey and before 12 p.m. So not too bad, not too bad. The big question is, will we find anything of, of value on our trek? I imagine we will. We do have that, uh, that question mark as well, which probably means that we're going to be coming across a junkyard. Someone said I missed a tire in the last junkyard. Well, damn it. I told you I'd miss something. It's, oh, look at the pastures. It almost looks like farmland. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to be, but it kind of looks that way. Man, we are like really hugging the road a lot. Maybe it's because I've been playing with craptastic tires for so long that I forgot what it's like to actually be able to hug the road in any kind of way. Uh, how are we doing here? Yeah, we're doing fine. Oh yeah, look at this. We've got some uh, some lovely rock structures to our right, right there, boys. We have a beautiful son of a really already with the flat tires. Hold on, we got a box over here too. So let old Gray get out and handle this crap. I think I ran over the box as well. Now, what sort of riches might you have? Yes, it's just like Pirates of the Caribbean, or the Caribbean, depending on how you say it. What may we have? We have, what in the hell are all this? Mur, oh, it's cigarettes. I think it's cigarettes, because it says filter on it, and usually that has something to do with cigarettes. Go ahead and put all that down over there. There's a couple in here, too. Ah, they sell for about seven, seven smackaroonies each. That's not too bad. Now, which tire ended up failing on me? That one right over there. And is this one still crazy? Yeah, they're both shot. All right, let me go ahead and fix these real quick. Can't remember if I mentioned last time, but you can actually fix the tires while they're still on the vehicle instead of pulling them off as long as you just loosen it. So, like, if we go over here and we do the twisty-do, there we go. Now we can go over here to our wrench, and we can give it one twist, and that'll bring it up to a one of three. Let's go ahead and tighten it up. Here we go. Take this thing off. Get this back over here. There, ba boom ba boom Close this on out, and let's see if we can keep driving while we still have some damn daylight over here. There we go. That thing in, right over there. I'm not sure what's smoking, but I don't really care. Gray says, let's keep it moving on, especially since it's already 2 o'clock. Oh, it's 2 o'clock in the turkey. Oh, by the way, remember this new engine in here, baby. We are passing 100 kilometers per hour just about. How do you like that for need for speed, huh? That is, that is, that is, there. you, you cannot get... Wow. You cannot get a weed whacker to go faster than that, I dare you. Because that's essentially what kind of engine we have in here. Well, it's probably more it's probably more cubic centimeters than a weed whacker engine, but you know how it is. 140 kilometers over here. It says Istanbul. Very good. Let's go check this out. Now, I want to... Well, I guess we'll go this way. Because you never know. Like I said, I, I want to know what glorious riches we may find if we go off the beaten path slowly. Now, I don't want to hit any potholes, mind you. I don't want... McGray doesn't have time to deal with that bull crap. But, for the purposes of science, I am prepared to attempt to find delicious items if I possibly can. I don't see anything over here. Now, I've never... I've also never driven to Turkey. This is my first time driving to Turkey. So I have no prior Turkish experience at this time. I probably missed wherever I was supposed to go. It's probably right up there. Oh, whatever. I ain't got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. I gotta keep driving. Oh, over the median. Yep, just kind of hopping the median. Don't you boys mind me. There's a lot of traffic on the road today. Which is nice. Oh, see, right over here. There's another one. All right, fine. We're gonna do it. Go over here. And I really want to know if there's something up here for us. Oh, don't you start losing the light on me already, man. Don't you start losing the light on me already. Maybe it's just for fun. Maybe it's just for funsies. It's got this little area for us in case it's like, Hey, Grave, you want to see what it's like going off-road over in Turkey? It's all yours, man. It's all yours. Yeah, that kind of seems like what it is. It's like you could almost just go straight or you could go off the roadway. Oh, what is that? That is a guardrail. That is absolutely nothing. For a moment, I thought that was a box or something, but it doesn't appear to be. Do we have any delicious items over here? No, not at all. A lovely bridge, though. A lovely bridge, actually, as well as the cityscape coming up. Have we already made it? Are we already there? Man, this engine will get you exactly where you need to go, I'll tell you that. Um, I don't know. It may not be. Every once in a while, these, um, these new places that we're getting to, 
they're not like you pass by a cityscape, but it's not the cityscape you're looking for. It's just there so that you can bask in the glory of the uh, of the visage, I guess. And it is a glorious visage. Man, this is a really, really big bridge. So is this bridge representative of a bridge that would go to Turkey? I'm very curious on this. What time do we have right now? Uh, getting past 6 o'clock. It's not too good. That means the old lights are going to have to come on here. After flickering a few times, you know how it is. Frankly, I'm kind of glad they come on at all, to be, be totally honest with you. Really, Tyre? Really? These tires not treating me very good at all. That's fine though. I'm gonna. <laughs> wow. Okay. I know. I know when it's time to turn things off. I'll be with you boys in just a second once I go fix my freaking tires again. Ain't nothing out here but me and the hoot hoot owls, baby. It is dark. It is not a stormy night, which I'm very, very happy about. And our car looks like hammered crap. Okay, we're getting this thing fixed. This is absolutely ridiculous. I can't even see out the freaking windshield anymore. Oh, it's not too often you see some- Whoa! Okay. Hi. What the hell? Almost took my freaking door out. Man, they don't have their headlights on or anything. What kind of crazy ass drive it is this, man? We almost got killed just then. I'm trying to fix everything up as best I can. The car looks like crap right now. Everything's beat up. I tell you, I, 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 let me tell you something. I fixed this car, okay? I did a lot of work to this car before we left. I used two full. Are you guys just driving in circles or what, what is going on here? Hold on. I used two full repair kits on this car and look at it. It's like it didn't help at all. All right, off we go. We're stuck at 40 kilometers per hour. I imagine it's because the engine is so beat up or something like that. I don't know. It could be from just body damage on the car, too. Now, I think we are coming up to the final cityscape way down there. All we have to do is make it, oh, a downhill climb. I love it. You'd never think you'd be so happy to see downhill than right now. I can't even... If there was a box for us to pick up, I wouldn't even know right now. What is this? Did I just go in a place I wasn't supposed to go in? I feel like I did. I feel like I'm not supposed to be down here. Um, oh, maybe I am. Ooh, oh, there's a motel right over there. Okay, all right. So, yeah, this is good. This is, we got a car coming right at us from somewhere. I don't know where it is. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hi. Yeah, yeah, screw you. Where, yeah, right there. Where's my horn at? Friggin' blow my horn at you, you scumbag. Look at this traffic. Look at this traffic right now. Oh, my God. All right, we made it. We made it to the dealership. Hold on. Let me go ahead. Let me go ahead and get this crap turned off. We got to get this thing fixed. Hold on here. I could have sworn that someone told me that if uh, if you wanted to, you could repair your uh, your vehicle over at the dealership. I guess not though. I checked the dealership to see if they had the upgraded toolkit. They absolutely did not. Um, we do have some packs of cigarettes so that we can sell. So we're gonna make a little bit of money. We also have plenty of fuel left over, which is quite nice. I bought that giant fuel tank way back in the day. And it has served me well. It has served the Empire very, very well. Go ahead and put these right over here. There we go. I think that's all of them. Yeah, that's all of it. Go ahead and grab this. We can go ahead and sell it while we're at it. Go pick up our wallet uh, right there so we can grab our monies once we go ahead and put this thing in. Now, again, I, I think that you can, like, restart the day. And it gives you different items inside of the... Uh, Inside of the the dealership, so we're at 501 bucks. So we we definitely have some cash man Like I could buy the repair kit, but there's only one here right now Well, I guess it's better than nothing whatever. I'm gonna buy it we go ahead and buy this thing Maybe we can get our car looking a little bit better, but yeah, I guess the way it works is is The more you repair your car the more the windows get fixed So I guess our windows are shot just because the entirety of my car. Well, my car is smoking like it's not even It's not even in use right now when it's smoking it's just, it's just smoking all the time. It's because it's so nervous. It's because it's so hard to deal with gray all the time. It's taking up smoking. All right, let's go find out what we got over here. One of four, yeah, zero of four. All right, let's go ahead and fix that like that right there. We're going to do everything that we can with our, with our regular wrench. And then we'll use this thing right over there. We go, uh, put another one over there. And then uh, a little bit of air filter right there. Okay. 
So there we go. We've already we've already used up the kit, uh, and the car still looks bad. So let's go ahead and grab a night's worth of sleep, and let's see if like it refreshes or something like that. I'm very curious if, if we go to sleep and we wake up, or if I have to turn my game off or something like that. I don't know. I really want to see though if we get different parts over at the shop. Everything's on the bottom floor down here too. Oh, it's so good. What is that over there? Look at that. It's like a bunch of box trucks or something. Hold on. Let me go ahead and park over here real quick. This is a fantastic parking job. Oh, great. <laughs> I know. All right, let's get out of here. What is this? I've never... Well, to be fair, we just got the circuit. Oh, I'll bet this is blocking the way for you to progress. That's got to be what this is. Look at this bull crap. Wow, look at all those cars over there. Can I get past this? Oh, man, there's like a ton of cars over there. I wanted to see what's going on. It looks like the zombie apocalypse or something. Holy crap, look at all the cars. Can't get on top of this or anything. There's no jump in the game. Hello, ma'am. I've stayed at pretty much all of your establishments at this point. Was it only $10 this time? Normally, it's like $20, is not it? We're on the second floor. Let's see if we can extort some money out of some people, though. That's always fun. Excuse me. All right, that didn't work. Money, please. Alms for the poor, if you will. No one in 1B. How about over here? Anyone over here? Nope, not at all. Now, you can open this drawer. I don't think there's anything ever in good inside. But uh, the fact that you can open it is kind of cool. I realized that last episode. I never knew that those drawers were even interactable. That would be really cool if there was, like, something in there. I'm trying to sleep in here. Yeah, well, there's one good way to go to sleep. Throw a 40 underneath the freaking door. I'm trying to sleep. All right. And I think this is ours. Yeah, there's no one home because it's ours. All right, well, let's go ahead and get some shut eye. Wake up for a brand new day and see what we can see in the morning time. Welcome to Istanbul. Now, I wonder if since this is a new day, uh, nope, okay. I'm wondering if it's, since this is a new day, if we can get some money from people. Everyone's pretty much saying the exact same thing. Not seeing anything good yet. Trying to sleep, trying to sleep. And how come, it's weird, we're like, we're the earliest risers in this entire place. You gotta be kidding me. Although, I guess we're getting up at like the crack of dawn. The crickets are still doing their crickety thing outside. I left my car doors open all night long. That's fantastic. Ooh. Staying and restarting the game did something interesting. We just got more money. Like, before, we didn't get any money from that guy, but because I restarted the game, I got money from him. Oh, what does it all mean? Hold on, boys. This could be important. This could be important. So now, I checked before. There wasn't anything new or exciting over at the store when I, uh, when I just, like, went to sleep and woke up in the morning. But let's check now. Maybe now they've restocked their supplies or something. Let me ask you boys something. Have, uh, have you seen this man? Have you seen this man around Istanbul? You let me know if you have. Yep, everything's totally different now. So that's what does it. Well, wouldn't you know it? A level two tool rack. Isn't that interesting? How could we have been so lucky? I'll tell you exactly how. It's because Gray continued to restart the game until he freaking got it. Cheating? Maybe. But damn it, I've got myself a tool rack now. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, I should have done this a long time ago. Although I don't know if we had the funds to do it a long time ago. But now, especially when new updates come out for the game, we are going to be able to get around so much easier because I think now we can uh, repair everything two levels instead of one. 400 for that level two one. I, you know, you know I didn't park this like this. The game did this, boys. Um, 400 for the level two, and I believe it's 500 for the next one. Hold on here. There we go. Oh, yeah. Right there. Level two. Look at my new spanner. Look at how beautiful and glorious it is. The real thing that it's going to be good for is going to be fixing the, uh, oh, yeah. Well, it does the crank, but I don't think, yeah, see, it gives everything one crank. That's very interesting. But it shouldn't really be fixing any of this. Now, I think it, oh. Oh, it fixes everything two-thirds of the way. Ah, good. Good. Ooh, that is fantastic. So that means, hold on a second, let's go try this real quick. Oh, the tires. The tires are finally going to be in good condition. All right, so let's go ahead and put this down right like this here. 
crank this thing up, oh, our car is going to be in such good condition. And by such good condition, I mean it's not going to look like total crap anymore. All right, peel these up. And, oh, they're two of three already. So, realistically, there's really not much to do with it. Really? My front tires are in that good condition? I know I put the new front tires on there, but I'm really surprised that they're doing that well. Uh, let's see if we can do the back tires. The back tires should be one of something. Yeah, one of three. Oh, and they go to two of three. Yes! Oh, glorious, wondrous beauty. Oh, this car. This car is finally going to be in a position where it doesn't look like a complete hunk of crap. It's only going to look one-third like a hunk of crap. Come here, tire. You're getting the gray still plays treatment. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Now, I don't think that this one would be one of three. But, oh, it is. Right there. Now, all the tires are two of three. And could you be any happier, realistically? Look at how beautiful. Look at how, well, hold on. Let me close that. There we go. Look at how beautiful the car looks. The cracks are mostly fixed. Everything, it's still dirty as hell. But uh, all the, it's not smoking. <laughs> so we are set for any kind of excursion that we might be doing now. Unfortunately, we can't go any further because we've reached Turkey and that's the last map you can do. But we're allowed to drive in reverse now, which is quite nice. Look at that bridge over there, man. That bridge looks freaking awesome with the lighting on there. Sun is just barely coming up. You can't see it from here, but the sun is just rising over the hillside. Guys, hope you enjoyed Jalopy. I think we're done for right now until they have a new update, though. We have, uh, we've gone as far as we want. If you want me to, like, kind of pander about, there's the sun. If you want me to meander about a little bit, maybe we'll go get some wine and sell it. Or maybe we'll upgrade our jalopy to the point where it's an absolute monster of a car. We can do that as well. You never know. Anyway, folks, till the next time, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>